Hello. You ever have one of those weird, weird dreams? Anyway, I'm... <laughs> I accidentally fell asleep, and I had a little nap, and I had this dream. And there's everyone I know inside this mall. And we're all kind of sitting in, like, the... The lunchroom, just the cafeteria or whatever. And, um... They're all, everyone I know, like, not, like, all my family, all my friends, all my co-workers, everyone I know was all in this mall. And, um, <clears throat> I was sitting there and talking to one of my longtime friends, and she was, like, um, just asking me, basically, like, how are you, and what's going on, and stuff, and I was, like, I'm fine, and everything is cool, and, um, happy and shiny and stuff, and then like, uh, we were eating a picnic, I think, and I had cornflakes, and inside my cornflakes was red peppers, and it didn't taste as awesome as you think it would, and, um, wow, it was kind of gross. Anyway, um, so I finished eating my corn, peppered cornflakes, um, and that seemed kind of important because it was a really long trying to process about this cornflakes. Anyway, um, we also had like, inside the cafeteria I had family and then the family came up to me, and one of my family members, and they're like, you know, I'm not talking to you. Do you feel threatened yet? And I was like, I didn't realize you were not talking to me, but okay. Um, and they're like, um, yeah, they came up and they, they kept telling me that they weren't talking to me. It was really weird. And they're, um, and then about, and then just after I finished eating my Vicky cornflakes, um, they came back and then they said that they weren't, they were playing this game and did I know how to play it? And, uh, it was very strange about that. I didn't understand that at all. Anyway, I still don't, I didn't understand it in my dream, I still don't get it. But, um, then another, kind of moved on from that, and then I went into the, um, that was kind of like the fringes of the whole, um, lunchroom. And, uh, yeah, it was a weird lunchroom. It was like in a mall, in the middle of a mall, but it wasn't like your food court. It was like a lunchroom. It was very strange. Anyway, so, um, in the middle of the lunchroom was my dad, and he was asking everybody in my life about, you know, that he was just basically telling embarrassing stories about me, <laughs> of which there are many. But, um, so, but he was asking questions of my co-workers, and he was talking to one of my bosses, and my, and he was, uh, I, when, as he was trying to ask one of my bosses some questions, instead of answering in, like, you know, spoken words, um, my boss started doing, like, a weird form of charades, <laughs> and I looked at another co-worker who was standing beside me, and I looked at him, and I said, this doesn't make me uncomfortable at all. <laughs> I was really worried. And then as I actually looked at my coworker who I was saying this to, he had like, um, kind of like a, like a goatee, I guess. But it was only half a goatee. And this, and part of it was like perfectly curled. So he had like, kind of like a, a Shirley Temple curl in his, in his beard. And he had like, uh, kind of like a Three Musketeers mustache, really sharp and pointy, and then half a half a goatee. It was very strange. And then when as soon as I said this doesn't make me feel uncomfortable at all, I woke up, and then I realized that I had been asleep. I didn't mean to go to sleep, and so I, now I'm gonna be awake for a while. So I probably should pop in a movie or something. But anyway, so that was a dream of mine, and I wanted to tell you I'm a very big proponent of dreams. <laughs> I think they're absolutely fascinating. I do. They're just hysterical. Like, and instead of answering, he was doing charades. I'd, it was peppers in my cornflakes. Like, it just, you know, some of the connections your brain makes when you're sleeping are just, just 
hysterical. <laughs> anyway, I've been babbling at you for five minutes about this silly dream. Um, yeah, no, I totally woke up, so none of my lights are on, so I'm using the... I'm not quite awake enough to, like, stand up or anything, but I just thought I would tell you. It was funny. Anyway, so, um, I'm a big believer in dreams, and that, you know, I should really keep a dream journal, but I thought I would put this on on my channel instead, because I think I thought it was hysterical. <laughs> anyway. So if you guys have any weird dreams and you guys want to tell me your weird dreams, by all means do so, because I think they're hysterical and I think they're absolutely fascinating. What your brain does when you're not, like, in control of it, it's just fun. You know, nightmares not so much, but even then you, you can have fun with them. But, uh, anyway, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.